Hello again, friends, and welcome back to another demonstration of Bomb Squad Academy. Previously, we covered the first three chapters, and it's time to move on to the fourth, in which we explore something called the Exclusive Ore, or Exor Gate. Let's get started. So here's our introduction, in which we kick things up a notch. This black gate is an XOR gate. The XOR is a little different from the OR gate. It will let current through if either input is receiving current, but not if both inputs are receiving current at the same time. This will make sense after you try. Flip one of the switches. Boom, just kidding. The current is passing through, now flip the bottom switch. Both switches are on, and yet the XOR gate isn't letting current through. This gate will only let one or the other, but not both. That's why it's called the exclusive OR gate, and it's very handy. Feel free to play with it some more. So as you can see here, if we want to keep current from flowing through and detonating a bomb, say, we want to make sure that either both inputs are receiving a signal, or none are. This will come in handy in later levels of the game, so let's get started. Time to test our understanding. Okay, let's look at what we've got here. We have a detonator path connected to an XOR that is currently receiving signal on both inputs. So as long as that remains, nothing will get through and the bomb won't go off prematurely. Now, we can't control the fact that current is flowing into this input because it's hardwired to this battery. Ditto for this XOR gate here. The only control we have over this situation are the two wires. We have to cut one and hope that it disarms the bomb. Now let's trace this out. If I cut this wire, this pathway will drop, which means that current will flow through because it's an exclusive ore, current will flow through here and set off the bomb. So we cannot cut this wire. But look over here, if we cut this wire, current will not flow through this input, which means current will flow through from this hardwired connection through to the disarm path. So let's cut this wire now. So by cutting a wire, we turned a signal on. How crazy is that? So, all right, next level. Sorry, this board's a mess. And I love the little comments that they throw in. The sticky note reads, to do, fire the designer. Even though the sticky note is blocking, we can tell that these are the disarm lights. This is our detonator. Now let's look at what we have here. Whatever we can, whatever we do, we cannot disturb either of these two pathways. Because if we cut one wire, the remaining input signal will pass through and set off the bomb. So automatically, these two wires, we can't cut those. And all of these wires are on this central line that we can't control. There are no switches. All we can do to manipulate this system is cut wires. All right, let's look at this exclusive ore. Both of these have wires attached. The output is going to disarm C. So I could cut one of these two and trigger the disarm C. So I'm going to do that now. All right. Same thing for B. Now in this case, I can't control whether or not current flows through here, but I can control current flowing through here by cutting this wire. Okay, that's B. Now let's look at A. A, the same thing. Well, actually, both of these have wires on them, so I could either cut this wire or this wire, and it would still give us what we need. So let's just cut this one. Well done. Thank you. All right, on to the next level. Here's a riddle for you. Okay, the riddle reads, Alice is always on fire. Bob and Charlie work together. Dave likes to be a contrarian. 
and that's probably referring to these four switches up top, Alice, Bob, Charlie, and Dave. Okay, let's look at the detonate path. Goes through this AND gate. If I push this button, current will flow through these paths, half satisfying these AND gates. But the problem is, if I push the button, this AND gate will be fully satisfied, sending a signal to the detonator and kaboom. But we can stop current to one of the inputs by turning off Alice. Now even if I push this button, we still won't have a uh, detonation. See? Because this AND gate over here is only half satisfied. You also notice that this exclusive OR over here has both current flowing through both inputs when I push the button, which means that this AND will not be fully satisfied, and we need that to disarm. So eventually we're going to have to find a way to cut off this uh, exclusive OR. Now, to satisfy this path of the AND gate, this AND must be fully satisfied, which means th these two ANDs must be fully satisfied. And to do that, we can turn on Bob and Charlie. Let's test that now. Okay, but of course, if I do that, I'm satisfied that satisfying this AND, which is feeding an input here, which blocks further current flowing through this XOR gate. But they, it also says Dave likes to be a contrarian. So let's turn off Dave. Alright, if we do that, this AND will be only half satisfied. And that will allow this XOR gate to continue passing a current. So if we do this right, this should disarm the bomb. Here we go. All right, another one down. Let's go on to the next. Seriously, another one of those to defuse? Yup. Okay, so we've got another push button and some switches. Now this is tricky because if I push this button, current will flow, will half satisfy this AND gate, but also, current will flow through this exclusive OR gate and if this AND gate isn't fully satisfied there won't be a second input to stop current flowing through and this bomb will go off so I can turn this on so that when I push this button this AND will be satisfied current will then flow through both of these inputs which means nothing will go out to detonate the bomb because again this is an exclusive ore so we're gonna test that right now okay that's good now if you notice we have current flowing through both inputs of this exclusive ore which means we can't get a signal through to disarm it now I can't stop current flowing through here but I can manipulate things if I have current flowing through here I don't want current flowing through here. And if I don't want current flowing through here, I need for both of these inputs to receive a signal. Current will flow through here no matter what, so I need a current flowing through here, which means that both inputs of this AND gate need to be satisfied. And I can do that by turning the switch on. Alright, cross your fingers. Three, two, one, go. All right, it looks like we remembered what we were taught. Well, happy to oblige. All right, on to the next level. Here's another deadly circuit for you to solve. I love the jaunty tone that the messages strike here. Okay, we've got less than two and a half minutes to solve this. All right, we have an exclusive ore which means we need either current flowing through both of these or none of these. We also need to satisfy this AND gate. All right. Now I could turn on this switch, but if I turn on this switch, yes, I would satisfy this AND gate, but let's see what else would happen. If I turn on this switch, 
current will flow through this exclusive ore and detonate the bomb, maybe. But let's see what else happens, because current would also flow through here. You would have two inputs going into this XOR, which means nothing would come out here. And with current flowing through just the one branch, kaboom. So we want current to flow. We could do one of two things. We could just simply cut this wire. Or, if we wanted to be creative, we could cut one of these two wires, which means current would flow through one input, which means current would flow through this input and this input, and block current from flowing any further. That would enable us to, uh, that would enable us to, uh, disarm the bomb. So let's do that. And turn on the switch. Now, that partially solved the problem, but there's a little more to do. You see, when I did this, now this XOR has both inputs receiving current, which means nothing's getting through here. But we can solve that by cutting this wire. Alright. That was close. And of course, I love how it says, for inquiries, call 1-866-555-OOPS. Alright, on to the next level. Do your thing. And it says here, order, which means order matters. Alright, got another exclusive ore. It's not passing signal, and we want to keep it that way. So as long as we have current flowing through this ore gate, we're okay. The problem is, in order to light up this B disarm, we need current flowing through here. Now if I throw this switch, now I can't light up A. I could throw this switch, but if I do right now, nothing will be going through the OR gate here, which means that nothing will be going through this input here, which means the exclusive OR will pass sig this signal, and kaboom. But we can temporarily keep this OR gate happy by directing current through the second input. There. Now that that's done, I can redirect this signal, like so. Now the next step for me is to satisfy this AND gate by turning this switch. Alright, now let's see what we can do about the A disarm. Got nothing coming through here. We need a signal through here, which means we need to stop one of these inputs. Can't stop this, don't have any way to do that, but I can stop this input by redirecting this switch to a dead end, like so. And we've defused another bomb, hurrah! Alright, we're doing pretty well here. Time to move on to the next one. You have to figure this out, good luck. Alright. Looking at the detonate path, we have a push button with uncontrollable current going through large parts of this, including this one AND gate. So if we don't want to set off the bomb, we need to make sure that nothing is getting through here. Now, to make sure that nothing gets through here, we have to make sure that both of these are satisfied. Current will flow through here when the button is pushed no matter what. So we need current flowing through here. Now for current to be flowing through here, we have current uncontrollably going through here, which means we can't have anything flowing through here, which means we've got to turn this guy off. Okay. So that should keep the bomb from going off prematurely. So let's test that now. Okay, that's good. And we've won ourselves a bonus because we've already disarmed B and C, we just have to disarm A. Now to disarm A, we need a signal going through here, which means that one of these two inputs has to be stopped. We can't stop it here, but we can stop it through here. If we don't want a signal through here, we do need a signal through both of these. We can get a signal through here without any manipulation, but if we want a signal through here, we have to turn this switch on. 
Okay, I think we've got what we need, so let's push the button. Here we go. We've just saved everyone again. Well, that's good news. All right. Last one. And of course, a little bit of an 80s reference. Call Jenny, 8675309. For those of you who were born after MTV's heyday, back when they still did music videos, there was a popular song from a band called Johnny Two-Tone called 8675309. So, okay, forget about the past, back to the present. We have a detonator path that comes out of an OR gate. So we can't have anything flowing through either of these two paths. So let's analyze what we need to do. Let's start with this one here. If I push this button, current will flow through this side of the AND gate, which means we cannot have anything flowing through this OR, or this exclusive OR. This is hardwired, so we need to have current flowing through here which means that this AND gate has to be satisfied. If I push the button, current from this point will go through this input. We also need current flowing through this one as well. So that takes care of this leg of the OR gate. Now let's look here. Another AND gate, we will get current flowing through here, which means we cannot have current flowing through here, which means that we cannot satisfy this AND gate. If we push the button, current will flow through this input, but we can stop current from flowing through this input by keeping this switch off. So that's good. So that's our OR gate nullified. In fact, let's test this now. Okay, good. Now, this AND gate is half satisfied we need to satisfy this AND gate here. It's half satisfied because current is flowing through here, which means we need current flowing through here, which means we need to trace this back. This AND gate needs to be satisfied. It's half satisfied because of this pathway here. We need current flowing through here, which we can accomplish by turning this switch. All right, it's the moment of truth. Will we live to call Jenny? Well, let's find out. All right. So that satisfies the last level dealing with exclusive OR gates. So thank you very much for watching, and join me next time for another chapter of Bomb Squad Academy.